Hello everyone, welcome back to our coding letter for tutorials. In this session, we are going to discuss about remapping method calls in a controller class. What is meant by remapping a method calls? We know that in URL, the second segment of the URI is always going to be the name of the method to be called in a controller class. If the method is not exist in your controller class, then it is going to it is going to display an error message that is nothing but 404 file not found. So I don't want to display an error message. I want to redirect him to a default method if the second segment is not found in the URL. So how can we remap that method? So if the method is not there, we have to remap that method to a default method. If the method is exists, then we can remap that method to the, uh, the method. Whatever the method available in your controller class, we can redirect him to that method. If not available, we have to remap the method to a default method. We can use index method as a default method or we can use something else, whatever it may be. But one important point you have to remember, if your controller class contains a method called remap, so right now we don't have a method yesterday we created one controller welcome controller in this method we don't have any remap method we have a test method we have an index method now additionally i have added one more method called address method with two parameters if the method is not there in your controller class then we have to remap it and one thing if your controller contains a method remap it will be always gets called automatically Whatever the method you are mentioning in the URL second segment, then whatever it may be, so it is going to be called automatically. What is that is? Remap method is going to be called automatically. Let us see and let us add this remap method to your controller class and let us check how the execution flow will be like this. Now can you see, I have three methods here, index and test and one more is address method and we know that how to call them these are the urls right how can we call them right so index method is there in your controller class yes index method is there right yes now you can see test method is there with one parameter yes we have test method with one parameter i have address method with two parameters yeah i have address method with two parameters now i have i am calling one more method called greeting can you guys tell me is there any method called greeting in your controller there is no method called greeting in my controller. If the method is not available, I have to redirect him to a default method called index or you can create one method to handle the default methods request and all. Yeah. Now I want to use my default method as index only. Right. So if the method exists, so we have to display that method. If not exists, we have to redirect him to a default method. This is called method remapping. Right. Now I am going to write the function public function remap. So underscore remap is a predefined method available in our controller class. Now this is the method, right? Let us write a small message here. Echo, this is a remap. Simply I am writing remap method such a manner guys. Just simply a small message I am writing. So what is the point I have mentioned in the slide? Can you see here? If your controller class contains a method name called underscore remap, it will get called automatically regardless of whatever the URI you are having. Now you can just go and execute the things and all you will understand. Remap method is there, right? Now open the browser and you can run the file localhost. Yeah, so my controller name is welcome, right? This is going to be welcome. All right, I'm going to hit enter. Can you see this is calling remap method? It is not calling the method index. So it is remapping. If the method is there, it is remapping here. If the method is not there also, it is going to remap here. Can you see now? I am going to write this welcome slash greeting. Actually, this method is not there. Refresh it. it still, it is calling remap method. If the segment, second segment is available or not available. So in your controller class, it is going to call remap method. Now, whatever the segment we have, in the, whatever the second segment we are having in the URL, to that method we have to remap it. So how can we handle this? So this remap method is always having one parameter that is called method parameter. Whatever the second segment you are having, that second segment is going to be available into this parameter. Now if you can just print this method so that you will understand which method you are calling. Just I want to print this method here dollar m e t h o d method if you can just print this method so that you will understand can you see now it is going to be greeting now i am going to i am not calling anything just it is uh, i am removing the second segment then we know that it will go for index method now can you see sorry so you can write ci4 ci4 slash this is going to be welcome controller 
and hit enter it is calling index method so now we have another method right we have something called test method so now you can see test method is coming i mean the second segment of the uri is always available into this parameter based on this parameter we have to handle the request and response cache we can write one condition here small condition if dollar method method equal to equal to test hmm, then where i have to go guys you have to go to dollar this of method so we can write something like this we have to return this actually return so simply dollar this of method this means current class object dollar method what is the method we have here to that method we have to redirect variables are case sense to this is exactly going to be loaded if the method is not there i mean if the particular method is not there we have to stop the, we have to stop him definitely right we have to stop him so but remember this method having some parameter definitely we have to pass second here we have something called p a r a m param parameter 1 maybe parameter 2 also there so but initially we may pass a value or not i don't know initially we have to assign it null if you pass a value other see why because we have to pass first index method doesn't have parameter but this is having one parameter and this is having two parameters so let me pass this one more parameter here dollar p a r a m param 2 such a manner you have to pass but initially you have to assign null value this is this is always recommended to pass a null value why because some parameters some methods may have parameters some methods may not have parameters some method may have one parameter some method may have two parameters some method may have does not having any parameters so initially we have to take it now without having any problem so then the method will be work automatically guys now so we have to pass param 1 so this is going to be p a r a m because only one parameter right that's why you have to pass param 1 right now can you if it is anything not there so if the method is not there i want to redirect him to index method dollar this of index this is just i am writing this of index how can we access a current class method into another method this is a method available in welcome class that method i want to access inside some other method guys to this i just want to use this of index this means current class object current class object of index i mean current class index method now if we can just call this now you can see i am calling a method can you see welcome to rom which one is calling now test method is calling we are mapping like this for example now you are going to call address method address of ram this is going to be two parameters right ct is going to be hyd slash india now can you see it is calling welcome to ci4 why because we didn't remap it right so i need to write one more condition here else if so dollar method equal to method method equal to equal to what is the method we have there address method right if the method is address we have to write a condition like this if the method is address then we have to redirect to return return dollar this of dollar m e t h u o d method with the two parameters param 1 and param 2 dollar p a r a m param 1 comma dollar p a r a m param 2 this is what exactly the thing now you can just check it so now this is also going to be gets call guys now earlier we this is loading default method now can you see like this we have to map the methods so if the method is not available for example earlier we written something called a greeting method that is not available that's why you went to default method called index if the method is not available the second segment of the uri is not available we will go here right for example if your class contain 30 40 methods will you write this logic 30 40 times right for everything we have to check right so for example i have test method i have address method i have some other method some other method like this i have so many methods are there we have to write so many conditions guys to manipulate all these things we are going to check one predefined method so is method exists if method exists do something if the method not exists go to default method so how can we use this method exists method so this method exists method having two parameters one is method name and one more is the object current class object now this is also valid guys if you have 10 methods we can write like this but uh, when we are having huge number of methods in a controller class it is not recommended to go with like this for everything we have to write a condition right so let us go in a better manner here now for this first i am writing one condition if a method exists there is a method in our php core php method this is method exists object current class object we have to pass here and the method name so we know that re uh, remapping method is nothing but this is the method name 
what exactly we are having in this the method name that I am passing to the same parameter if the method exists let me write one thing a small condition if a method exists we have to do something if method not exists we have to throw an error or we have to redirect him to now you can just check it I am just redirect him to index method dollar this off you can load index method dollar this off index if method not available if method is available so we don't worry we have to go to the particular method if not exists the method in the current class here remember this means current class what is the current class here welcome is the current class in this the method so we know that what is our remapping remap method the first parameter is the name of the method whatever the method you are passing in the second segment that method is going to be available in this method now if the method exists we have to redirect him guys so here i am written dollar this of method m e t h o d sorry this should be dollar method in this dollar method we have to pass the parameters here that's it simply you don't need to write anything so for every method we don't need to write if condition method equal to equal to this method do something we don't need to write now this method will take in care so now you can pass the parameter 1 and parameter 2 param1 and param2 some method may have parameters some method may not have parameters that's why we have to write the things like this and very important when we are working with remapping method calls remember carefully some methods may have parameter some methods may not have parameters so that we have to take so here param1 param2 i am taking you can take any variable there x y also you can take x is the first variable y is the second variable but initially they have to set null values right some methods may have some methods may not have if you are removing null values you will get an error definitely right so this is exactly now it is going to be index method now let us see and it is working or not so now greeting is not there okay now i am going to call the test method can you see it is working this is test method now you can go to the address method here address of hyd and india it is also working if the method is not there then where it is going it is going to by default the default method or we can handle the exception also guys here if the if you don't want to redirect him so simply we can write here throw we have in controller namespace coordinator slash we have something called exception in this exception we have a class guys page not found exception in this we have a method called for page not found this is a method so now what is going to happen you know this is going to throw an error if the method is earlier we have this right we are redirecting to index method now if we can refresh if the method is not there it is going to give you 404 later in the session we are going to explain you very clearly how about exception handling is going to be work in a separate session we are going to discuss it not right now just understand this right we can throw an exception also and one more thing can you see i'm i'm using this directly like this here if you don't want you can also do one thing so you can simply use the library here so this is also a valid way i mean some some situations remember carefully if this exception class is going to be used in multiple places then we have to load here so i'm i loaded the exception class here if we load the exception class here we can call the method simply by using class name what is the class name we have page not found exception like this if we can call also that is going to work guys your choice completely it is going to be so if this class is going to be used in multiple places try to include it here if this is only one one place earlier i written one line right so you can use that line also now you can just refresh it now it is having the same we don't have any error here seriously right so this is how we can remap the method calls guys if you don't want this exception class if you want to redirect him to a default method so we can call this default method also this of index also we can use it Com this is completely our choice right as a developer we can decide what to load and you want to load a method default method or you want to load an exception also yes if this is not there then you can remove you can keep this in comment because we are not using right so this editor is giving a good suggestion so can you see if i keep mouse on this tool it is giving you unused statement you are not using this statement anywhere in your class right so make it a comment so if required we can so otherwise i mean if you want to handle an error we can use it otherwise we don't need to use it right so this is exactly the remapping method calls guys right so in the next session we are going to discuss about 
uh, views in controller how can we load a view into a controller and how to pass some data to a view and all we are going to see in the next session thank you guys if you have any doubts in this session please comment under the video section thank you all